Okay, so Kenny Harms has been a professional caddy for more than 25 years. He's looped for more than 10 players on the PGA Tour, LPGA, and PGA Tour champions and was on the bag for Kevin Na at the 2018 British Open at Carnoustie. It's a full-time gig with travel requirements and few off days throughout the season. His salary when he started in 1991, $350 per week. Things have changed a bit since then. A lot of money to be made. Harm said, Nowadays, a select few caddies can make seven figures in a single season on the PGA Tour thanks to bonuses and a cut of the massive prize purses. They also can go weeks on end struggling to break even after expenses. The amount of money paid caddies has become a major topic in golf due to the fallout over the $5,000 Matt Kuchar paid his caddy after winning the Mayakoba Classic in Mexico last year. That victory brought a 1.296 million winner's check with it. Kuchar paid $50,000 to David Garral El Tucan Ortiz. The amount and manner in which caddies are compensated is one of the most frequently asked questions in golf. The answer is complicated, but there are some general guidelines most player caddy relationships follow in some form. By most accounts, the average weekly base pay for caddies on the PGA Tour runs in the neighborhood of... $1,800 to $2,000 per week. On the LPGA, it's closer to $1,200. The majority of those funds go toward travel expenses, which are almost never covered outside of the weekly wage. Some of the top players will foot the bill for costly trips outside the U.S., say for the WGC HSBC champions in Shanghai, but that's not always the case. If a particularly stingy player misses the cut overseas, chances are his caddy is losing money. Going to China or Japan or even Europe, it's a big, expensive trip. Matt Kuchar's regular caddy, John Wood, told Golf Week last year, our salary is meant to take care of expenses, and if you're going to go somewhere where expenses are going to be double or triple what they normally are, I think a player should step up and help them out. I'm sure it's not like that for everyone, and it would be tough to travel like that. Breakdown of a caddy's payday. At stateside tour stops, most caddies are largely dependent on their players' performance. The average base percentage for post-tournament payouts is about the same on the LPGA and PGA Tour and has remained steady in recent decades. According to most, it goes like this. 10% of the earnings for a win, 7% for a top 10 finish, 5% for anything else inside the cut line. If a player misses the cut, his caddy might hang on to a few bucks from the initial weekly payment. That's right, and they never know when or if the next significant payday is coming. That's the risk we take with this job. Said Andy Sanders, Jimmy Walker's longtime caddy, If you work for a guy who's not making any cuts and not making any money, you kind of drown yourself. That caddy's not making any money. He's struggling. It happens. There's a ton of guys out here that are grinding that way. Caddies are also self-employed and pay for their own insurance out of pocket. Then there's retirement funds, which are considered a luxury, especially on the LPGA with prize purses, a fraction of that on the men's side. Some caddies make what an LPGA Tour winner makes. Michelle Simpson retired from professional golf in 2006 and has since caddied for the likes of Meredith Duncan and Brittany Lincecum. For her most recent win at the Pure Silk Bahamas in January, Lincecum took home $210,000. That's a tough pill to swallow for some when they see the Players' Championship winner haul in nearly $2 million. That PGA Tour caddy just won what our winner is going to get. Simpson said, that is mind-boggling. Some LPGA caddies negotiate extra bonus incentives based on player performance. According to veteran LPGA looper David Brooker, some have worked to increase payouts to 8% for a top 10 finish rather than the 7%. Consider it a bit of an inflation adjustment. Across the board in the women's game, the depth of the level of golf has gotten way better, Brooker said. You're going to have a lot more finishes outside the top 10, so caddies are negotiating higher percentages because of the parity at the top of the game. Even on the PGA Tour, one has to keep in mind that caddies aren't paid an annual salary. An average pro might play 28 to 30 tournaments each year, and very few give their caddies any sort of retainer on off weeks. The caddy wage discrepancy is as wide as the gap amongst players. Justin Thomas played 25 events in 2017 and made $9.9 .9 million, not including his $10 million FedEx Cup bonus. Steven Bowditch played 27 events and earned $24,650. 
Jimmy Walker earned $4.1 million in 2016, including $1.8 million for his PGA Championship win. So Sanders is presumably able to live comfortably, but for every Sanders, there's an anonymous looper, paying their own way week to week and hoping to find the right bag at the right time. Obviously, I caddy for a really good player, Sanders says. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Oh yeah, interesting. Very interesting indeed.